Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Food Service Driver back in the building. So I'm here to give you guys an update of what's really going on. I know a lot of people are confused about what's going on, so I'm giving you guys an update and then you guys give me your concerns. So as you guys know, I was previously on the PFG account. According, you know, I've told you guys what happened in PFG account that's closed. So when the PFG account closed, you know, a lot of other accounts that have become that work for a lot of other accounts that's opened up. So the other accounts that opened up was Racetrack. That's what you guys seen in my previous video. I'm working for Racetrack. As far as Racetrack, what it's all about, you basically deliver into, you know, Racetrack gas station is pretty much it. Uh, we deliver like the food products, like the sandwiches, the yogurts, everything you see in Racetrack, we deliver. Except for like the beer, the alcohol and all that. But everything you see in Racetrack, we basically deliver. Like frozen foods and everything. So I decided to go with the Racetrack account. Now there's two different types of racetrack. You got the local, you got the regional. Everybody know the regional is you go out over the roads, stay overnight, lay over, come back down, same thing, vice versa. So here's the thing. A lot of people ask why I didn't go back to my client. There's a lot of reasons I didn't go back to my client. Um, first of all, as you guys know from, I've seen from other previous people that talked about it, and currently it's going down at my DC that I used to work at, you used to work for like five days and they work a four day, it's a four day work week. As any food service job, you know, working a four day work week is pretty much cutting the money, basically. Well, they say there's work, but you know, in food service, nothing's always guaranteed. Yes, it's guaranteed that there's gonna be work, but it's not always guaranteed you're gonna get that fifth day of work. And everybody knows that fifth day really makes a difference on your pay. Now, what's the difference between Racetrack and McLean? Obviously, you know, majority of food companies, a lot not food companies, but a lot of companies, truck drivers, they pay weekly versus McLean it's bi weekly. So that's one of the pros and cons that I weighed out. Also, the workload is very, very much easier. I mean, literally I bet the race track, have you guys seen it, we got lift gates. Or well, McLean, it's all rank, which is dealing with a lot of different restaurants versus at racetrack i'm only dealing with just racetrack gas stations mclean i'm dealing with restaurants so you know it's kind of different between the two are they both food service yes they're both food service racetrack you deliver everything product just like you do in mclean with different restaurants now so the thing is what i want to ask you guys on your opinion yes i can always go back to my client but is it really worth it to go back to McLean based off the new rules, regulations, you know, with the four day work week. I mean, they always say you can get extra work, which is which is cool, but you gotta understand like the extra work is not always guaranteed. I don't always go by what majority companies say, because they can say one thing and then it'd be another, like everybody knows food service or in truck driving in general. Like they can say one thing and it'd be another thing. So I'm going based off what they could promise, which is a four day work week. Now, you know, me going back and be on extra move. It's not like I could I'm go back and I have my regular route or you know I'm guaranteed a route. Now when I go back, I'm on extra board. So that's another thing I took into accountability. It's like now my extra board and I'm gonna be running different people routes, which extra board on my claim is wonderful. Don't get that twisted. It is wonderful. But you really gotta think about it. On a four day work week and you're on extra board, that literally means you're basically an all call driver. And for people that's new to McLean or don't know much about McLean, you're on extra board, you're basically an on call driver, which means somebody calls out, you're that person that's gonna run their route. When people are on vacation, you're that person that's gonna run their route. When they get injured, you definitely gonna run that route. So basically, anything that happens, you're that guy that's gonna run that route. And, and if you don't got any work, then you basically go home. So a lot of people always ask me like, do you still get paid when you go home? Yes, you get paid. Is it a good pay? No. So basically they don't have no work and they send you home. You're gonna get paid 50 dollars for that day. So with the whole new four day work week, it's really cutting down the money because back when I was at McLean, I was working five, six days tops and I was making bank like over 100 110 110 to 20 k i can see with previous jobs on youtube they make about the same thing now over at racetrack the racetrack account is pretty much brand new but the good thing about it starting off because i am a regional driver not a local driver 
because the regionals get paid a lot more than locals because you're going out of town more miles. Now with the regional, it's making an, at least a bare minimum of 98K a year average. That's the average driver. As you guys know, I'm not an average driver, so I'm not going to easily hit more than the 98,000. Plus, with the racetrack account, there's bonuses that's coming up, there's pay increases coming up. So that 98 is not always going to stay at 98, it's going to increase more than what it is now. Over at McLean right now, where my previous location, average driver was making about 80, 80 to 85,000. So you can see where the pay difference is and why I made the switch. Do I miss McLean? Yeah, I miss McLean because McLean, as you guys know, half my majority of my YouTube channel is Team McLean all day. Like you guys already see, you guys already know it. But as people don't know, you got to do what's best for you in your current situation. Now, would I take the pay cut? Absolutely not. Like anybody who's in the game been too long, taking a pay cut is not an option. Once you've been in the game for so long, you got much experience. Pay cut is not an option. It's completely not an option. So me going back, I'm gonna take a pay cut and also not guaranteed work because I'm gonna have a Robin Bell action board. And I'm going from a five to six day work week, not to a four day work week. And then also another con about it is on the four day work week, they pick your own schedule. I did not know that. I had to find out through a couple of my boys who work at McLean. And also, you know, I, they called me and I contacted them and asked them about it. So basically, if I go back to McLean, they pick my days that I work and my days off. So it's kind of a good thing. It's kind of a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you pick my days off and you pick the days I work. So I might work weekends. I might not. So it just all depends. And I like my weekends. You know what I'm saying? And so that was another thing that triggered me. Like you picking my days on that I come to work and pick my days off of our racetrack where my regional schedule, I get every other weekends off. Um, the good thing about it, we don't work on Sundays. They shut operations down on Sundays, but we do work Saturdays. Basically, Friday night going into Saturday morning. So that's what we do work. But as far as like Sundays, it's an automatic. Everybody's off on Sundays. Over at Race Track, I'm off every other weekend. So one week I might work Friday into Saturday. And then the next weekend, I will have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off and go back to work Monday. The good thing about it is over at Race Track, I get all my days off consecutive back to back. Um, two days off, three days off, it just all depends on what I want. If I want two days off, but I'm working on a five day work week schedule, um, I could work a four day work week schedule if I want to, because the fifth day is optional, but I don't do it optional. So I, I'm guaranteed to work five days. Versus I'm playing, I'm guaranteed to work four days and, and optional fifth day, but it might not be no work, depending on, you know what I'm saying, depending on our businesses and everything. So I want to ask my subscribers. I want you guys to give me your honest opinion down in the comment section below. Should I stay at racetrack and work it out? Or should I go back to McLean? I know a lot of you guys said I was happy at McLean. Yes, I was happy at McLean. Always, that's what the majority of my channel is about. But with the new rules and new stipulations, it's kind of, eh, it's kind of if. But, you know, I always, I do things what's best for me, and I also always appreciate you guys appreciate your guys' opinion at the end of the day because you guys are my subscribers. You guys have been here with me since day one, since I've been at Cisco, and then McLean, and then PFG, and now I'm in this predicament. No, we're well, not really a predicament, but you know I'm in this situation. So I want you guys to choose and let me know your honest opinion. And based on your honest opinion, that's what I'm going to go with because at the end of the day, I'm doing this for me, but I'm basically doing it for y'all because... I give you guys the insight. I give you guys the truth. People who don't want to tell the truth and don't want to tell things that's supposed to be told, I still tell it anyways because I think everybody deserves to know the truth. And I always will never mislead my subscribers. So down in the comment section below, let me know as know what you think. Either should I stay with PO, or not PO, if I should stay with Racetrack, should I go back and Clay? You guys let me know in the comments.